Naitwa Salma Kasim. Kwanza Salma ongela kwa kushiriki mashindano haya. Asante. Ni mara yako ya ngapi kushiriki mashindano haya? Ndio kwanza mara ya kwanza. Ah okay, ongela sana. Asante. E Salma, e, kuna huu katili dhidi ya watoto ambao umekuwa unafanyika Tanzania kwa ujumla wake. Kwa hapa Zanzibar Unguja na Pemba hali ikoje kwa unavyofahamu? Kwa Unguja na Pemba hali mbaya. Ukatili ni mkubwa sana na watu wanafanyiwa vibaya sana na watoto wanalaitiwa sana. Inawezekana mpaka watoto wa miaka mitano, miezi mitatu. Yaani ni unyanyasaji wa kijinsia sasa. Kwa kumbe ukatili hadi kwa watoto wa miezi mitatu. Kwa miezi mitatu unakuta mtoto mtu mtu mzima miaka 30 anamlaiti mtoto wa miezi mitatu, minne, mitano. Kwa hiyo unajikuta wazazi wanaumia sana. Kwa hiyo tunaomba watu wakikuta ukatili kama huo waufanyie kazi. Ongera sana. Na je, kuna kuna nini? Hatua zote ambazo zimekuwa, hatua zote ambazo zimekuwa zinachukuliwa na serikali au wadau kupambana na huu katili dhidi ya watoto? Vipi? Kuna hatua zote ambazo zimekuwa zinachukuliwa na serikali au wadau mbalimbali kupambana na huu katili dhidi ya watoto hapa. Mm, zinachukuliwa lakini sio sana hivyo. Unajikuta mtu anaenda kushtaki lakini mtu anafuatilia siku mbili, siku ya tatu kesi inafutika. Unajikuta watu wengi wanatoa rushwa. Kwa hiyo unajikuta watoto wanaumia sana. Kwa hiyo kumbe jambo la rushwa pia na, na huku ni kubwa sana kwenye haya masuala ya kupambana na ukatili dhidi ya watoto. Eh, unajikuta mtu anashtaki, anapeleka kesi lakini unajikuta wanadharau. Unaelewa nini kuhusiana na masuala ya ukatili dhidi ya watoto? Naelewa kuna kuna matendo mabaya ambayo yanaendelea kama watoto wanatupa wanafanyia ukatili wa kulaitiwa ubakaji kuvutishwa kwa bangi na minge, na mengineo okay na unaishauri nini serikali kwenye kupambana dhidi ya ukatili dhidi ya watoto na shauri wasaidie watoto waweze kuwalinda dhidi ya hivyo vitendo ili wasiharibikiwe vizuri unaitwa nani naitwa Toden Shoje ongela kwa kukimbia marathon. Eh? Ongela kwa kukimbia marathon. Asante. Okay, Shoje. Unaelewa nini kuhusu habari za ukatili dhidi ya watoto? Um, eh, na, najua kama hapa eh, Zanzibar eh, watoto wanachapwa kana, kama wanafanya kosa. Eh, kama eh, Ulaya ni eh, eh, law inasema huwezi. Utaenda jail Ulaya ukifanya na um, mimi si chapwi lakini nafikiri sio sio vizuri kwa sababu kama unamchapa mtu kwenye shule au baba alafu wataogopa alafu kama wamefanya kosa wataogopa alafu hawatasema hawa kama wamefanya kosa okay asante na unaishauri nini serikali na wadau mbalimbali mbali, kwenye kupambana na ukatili dhidi Kwenye kupambana na ukatili dhidi ya watoto, unaishauri nini serikali au na wadau au taasisi tofauti tofauti? E, nafikiri kama shukuli ha, e, watoto kama wanafanya kosha hawatachapwi. Hawa nafikiri yote itakuwa vizuri. My name is Lina. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Okay, my pleasure. Most welcome Lina. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, Lina, we wanted to know your um, understanding or perception of uh, uh, issues related to children violence. What do you understand about that scenario in, in Tanzania or in Africa and whatever? You mean my opinion um, about, about children violence or violence against children. They have a higher position than children and children they can't do anything about it. So that's why we shouldn't, I mean we shouldn't uh, beat anyone or um, do violence against anyone. But especially not against children because they are vulnerable and we shouldn't beat them or something like that okay thank you and um, if, if we try to compare violence against children in africa in tanzania and the violence against children in, in germany what is the status what can you say about it? i mean i never really experienced um violence against children in germany but there's also violence against children but normally it's um taking place in the private household so not in public and here I'm working as a volunteer and at the school and um, in a pre-primary school here in um, Zanzibar and um, they are sometimes the teachers they use sticks 
to um, beat um, the children when they are not listening or something like that. So um, here I'm experiencing the violence because it's um, in public. It's um, taking place at school and not um, like in the private household like in Germany. Yes. Okay, so what is your call? What's your suggestion to stakeholders dealing with the violence against children? I think it should be forbidden and not um, it shouldn't be used at school or somewhere else um, because there are so many other methods to um, yeah, um, do the education for children. So we don't use or we don't have to use sticks so um, we can use other methods that the children are listening or something like that or that they are learning because um, when they are get bit, uh, beaten by or uh, with sticks and uh, maybe they get a trauma or something like that and it's not a good education for them because maybe they will um, do it as well when they are adults and beat their own children and it's like a whole circle and it would never end so we have to stop it now my name is Arvin uh, what's your, your, your perception what's your understanding about violence against the children I don't think violence should be committed against anyone is that children are a especially vulnerable group because they're growing, their mental state is not yet fully developed and it can have long-lasting impacts to hit children or emotionally abuse children and yeah, that should not be happening. <laughs> Violence against anyone should just be not allowed and it should also be enforced that it's not allowed. So when a child, when you notice that a child is having trouble at home um, the people around the child need to protect it because sometimes even if the home is supposed to be a safe space it's just not and that's a sad thing but it happens and we must protect those children and all of the children of course. Renske! Renske, uh, where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. Netherlands, okay. Renske, what's your understanding about you, uh, violence here against the children? Uh, here in general, I mean, it's definitely bad. They don't, at such a young age, you don't really know how to stand up for yourself. You don't really know what's going on. So it's, yeah, it's definitely a problem. What, what, what's your, your, your say or your comments when you compare violence against children in your country and in Tanzania in general or in Africa? Um, I'd say I haven't really witnessed like actual violence against children but more kind of neglect in a dangerous way like children playing with big knives or staying out on the street until really late with their parents and in the Netherlands I think it's just more regulated and people yeah kind of have a more direct focus on their children instead of just having them adapt to their life. So, so in Netherlands see um, can you say that the government is, is, is very aware is, in taking strong measures to deal with violence against the children? Or is it all about the individual or personal issues? Oh, no, yeah, definitely. In the Netherlands, there's a lot of institutions and it's really well organized. So, uh, child care is definitely uh, yeah, a big thing and there's numbers you can call. It's, it's really easy to get in touch with people that take care of children. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank Ransky, you. thank you, my friend. <laughs> thank you so much. Naitwa Dixon, ni afisa wa haki za watoto na utawala wa Save the Children Zanzibar. Malako ya ngapi kushiriki kwenye tukio hili wewe kama wewe na Save the Children? Save the Children tumekuwa ni wafadhili kuanzia hii movement ilivyoanza miaka mitatu iliyopita. Na sababu kuu ya Save the Children ni kuwa wafadhili daima kwenye hii movement ni kwa sababu kimbia bila shaka ndo marathon, half marathon peke ambayo lengo lake ni kuongeza ushiriki wa wanawake kwenye mazoezi na mambo yote ya uma kwa uongozi na kushiriki kwenye mambo ya uma kufanya mazoezi kwa sababu kwenye jamii yetu hapa watu wanafanya mazoezi sana Zanzibar lakini mara nyingi unaona ni wanaume wanafanya mazoezi lakini mazoezi ni swala la afya lakini mazoezi kitu kingine cha msingi zaidi ni kwamba kwa mfano watu wanapokuwa kimbia kilomita 10 kilomita 5 kilomita 21 sio tu physical fitness vile vile ni mental fitness kwa hiyo save the children imekuwa ni mdao ambayo unafadhili movement tangu imeanza na tunategemea kuendelea kwa sababu swala la jinsia na usawa wa kijinsia kwetu ni kiini cha kazi tunazozifanya na lengo ni kwamba wanawake washiriki katika maeneo yote okay 
kibaki hapa kwenye masuala ya kijinsia hali ya ukatili dhidi ya watoto ikoje kwa hapa Zanzibar na kwa Tanzania kwa ujumla hali ya ukatili dhidi ya watoto ipo na kitu ambacho tunapenda kuelimisha jamii zaidi ni kwamba watu wengi wanajua ukatili wa watoto ni swala la kubakwa swala la kulawitiwa basi lakini kuna ukatili kwa mfano kupigwa watoto ni kitu ambacho jamii yetu inakiona kwamba ni, ni sehemu ya maisha tuna imani kwamba bila kumpiga mtoto habadiliki kwa hiyo sasa miongoni mwa mambo tunayofanya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaelimisha watu kuhusu njia mbadala za malezi na kuhakikisha kwamba hii dhana kwamba mtoto wa Kiswahili bila kupigwa akui ni dhana ambayo inapoteza utu wa mswahili utu wa Afrika na ni lazima tu, ni lazima tuibadilishe na labda niongezee vile vile mwaka huu atuangalie tu swala la jinsia na ukatili lakini tunaangalia vile vile na swala la mazingira kwa kuna bango letu pale ambapo tunataka tushirikishe wadau watu watoe mawazo yao kuhusu nini tufanye ili kuhakikisha kwamba tunasaidia changamoto ya mabadiliko ya tabia nchi exactly ni tatizo ambalo lipo na sasa hivi ni wajibu wetu kuhakikisha kwamba tunaanza kuzungumza ni namna gani tunaweza kuli address kwa hiyo na wasiza tanyinyi kama mjaondoka kapiteni pale kwenye bango lile toe ni mawazo yenu jinsi gani kama wadau jinsi gani kama wananchi jinsi gani kama individuals tunaweza tukasupport kwa tuka address swala la climate change asante sana naitwa fachon okay fachon ni malako ngapi kushiriki kwenye ama ni mara pili okay ehe unajishughulisha na nini mimi naitwa pareta kwenye kampuni ya fortune zanzibar services tours and travel okay tours and travel friend travels Ma- maswala ya mabadiliko ya tabia ya nchi unayaelewaje kwa nyinyi kama kampuni aha kwa kweli sasa hivi kuna mabadiliko makubwa sana ya hali ya, ya hewa mabadiliko ya nchi mfano fukwe zamani maji fukwe zilikuwa zina nane zina zina nane maji yalikuwa huko lakini sasa hivi fukwe zina zinazidi kuliwa yani zinazidi kuliwa mmonyoko unazidi kuwa mkubwa kwa hivyo kuna mabadiliko makubwa ya hali ya hewa pia hata misimu ya mvua ina mabadiliko kidogo E, kwa hivyo nafikiri uchafuzi wa mazingira kwa sababu sisi pia tours yetu inahusika sana na usafi wa mazingira huwa tunafanya bit clean up karibu kila mwezi yes na mwaka kesho tuna program ya mara mbili kwa mwezi tunafanya bit clean up na tunataka tu adapt watoto wa shule kuanzia darasa la 4 paka sekondari tutakuwa na hiyo program ili wajue usafi wa mazingira hasa tuna si tuna base kwenye beach tutakuwa na stick maalum za kuokotea uchafu na watoto tunawafundisha darasani kwa theory alafu weekend tunakuja nao beach pia tunafanya nao snorkeling ili waweze kuona wale yale mazalia ya baharini alafu tunaambia plastiki zinaathiri zikiwa beach kuzikingia baharini zinaathiri wale viumba hai na matumbawe yanakwenda kufa kwa ajili ya plastiki kwa hiyo mtoto anapokuwa vile hata akija baada ya kuwa kiongozi anakuwa na mentality ya kutunza mazingira ndio hivyo yani na of course umezungumzia masuala ya watoto kwa ushiriki kwenye masuala ya utunzaji wa mazingira na vitu kama hivyo. Ukatili wa watoto, ukatili dhidi ya watoto kwa ujumla wake hali unaionaje hapa? Ah kwa kweli hali ni mbaya sana. Ndio maana tumesupport Zanzi Hafu. Hawa pia wana wana deal na kusupport watoto. Na ndio maana ni mwaka jana mimi nilisupport na mwaka huu tumesupport baada ya kuhamasika kabisa kwamba hawa wamejikita kusaidia watoto wasifanyiwe ukatili wa aina yoyote. Kwa hivyo ukatili upo tunaiasa jamii kwa kweli tushirikiane kwa vyovyote vya kupiga vita huu ukatili wa jinsia au ukatili kwa watoto ili wakae wakue katika hali njema afya njema wakiwa na uhalisia wa makuzi yao pia waje kuwa wazazi bora na viongozi bora wa, wa taifa letu naitwa Peter Anatoli na tokea shirika la Save the Children Tanzania Sevi za chidwe niongeleni sana kwa kazi nzuri na kubwa mnayoifanya Tanzania. Asante sana. Tunashukuru kwa sababu mbio kama hizi ni kwa ajili ya watoto katika mkoa na nchi ya Zanzibar. Kwa hiyo tunapoleta mchezo kama huu ni yetu ni kuweza kuuisha michezo kwa watoto, fursa kwa wote ili waweze kujielekeza na waweze kuongea. Okay. Unazungumziaje hasa ukatili dhidi ya, ya watoto kwa Zanzibar na Uh, kwa kweli mimi sio mzungumzaji wa shirika lakini ni sehemu ambayo sisi tumejitahidi sana kuwekeza ili tujue jinsi gani tunaisaidia eneo hili la Zanzibar katika kuweza kutatua zile changamoto zote zilizopo kwa ajili ya watoto wa Zanzibar. Lakini hali unaionaje kwa hapa? 
kwa hapa tunaona hali imeimarika hali ni nzuri na tunashukuru kwa sababu tunajua kwa jinsi ilivyo imarika imetusaidia sisi kuona kwamba maeneo gani ambayo yana 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 changamoto maeneo gani ambayo ni mapungufu ili tuweze kuongeza nguvu kwa ajili ya kuwasaidia watoto unadhani kuna haja ya wadau kuendelea kupambana na ukatili dhidi ya watoto au kwa hali ilivyo ile ile Eh tunadhidi tuna tunahitaji wadau zaidi ili kuendelea kuendelea. Ndio maana kuna mashirika mengi huko yasiyo ya kiserikali ambayo yanaleta hiyo uh, ujuzi, yanaleta ufahamu jinsi ya kuweza kutayatoa changamoto za watoto. Kwa majina naitwa Mkiri amesonya nduga. Yeah, kwanza hongera kwa kushiriki uh, marathon hii hapa kimbia bila shaka. Nashukuru sana. Tunaendelea kwa viza na wenzetu wazidi kujitokeza kwa ajili ya kushiriki marathon. Mara yako ya, ya ngapi kushiriki mashindano haya? Hii ni mara yangu ya kwanza kushiriki marathon. Okay. Uh, nadhani umekuwa unasikia masuala ya uh, ukatili kwa watoto. Swala hili unalizungumziaje kwa hapa Zanzibar? Unguja na Pemba kwa ujumla yake. Kwa hapa Zanzibar kwenye swala la ukatili na watoto lakini bado linaendelea ni swala ambalo bado lipo ni kubwa sana. Ambalo bado linajitokeza hususan kwa watoto wa kike na watoto wa kiume. Ah, kuna ukatili gani sana sana ambao umekuwa ukifanyika ambao wewe kwa una, kwa ufahamu wako unaelewa? Kwa ukatili unaofanyika kimfano kwa watoto wadogo wenye chimli wa, wenye chini ya umri wa miaka kumi wanaingiliwa kinyume na maumbile kwa watoto wa kike na watoto wa kiume. Ambao ni ukatili mkubwa na watoto wengine pia hata kwa shule kwenye masuala ya shule bado yako chini sana kwa hapa kwa upande wa hapa Zanzibar. Okay na umeona kuna kuna juhudi zozote ambazo zimekuwa zinachukuliwa na wadau mbalimbali ikiwemo serikali kupambana na masuala ya kwa watoto. Kwa serikali naweza nikasema kwamba inajitahidi lakini bado na ni nguvu bado ni ndogo sana na jitihada bado ni ndogo sana bado hajaweka unani mkubwa sana kuendelea kulifuatilia maana yake zinafanyika kwa chini mambo mengine yanafanyika wanaongea kifamilia anaisha kumbe unakuta mtoto bado anaendelea kuumia au anaendelea kuumizwa zidi ya ukatili Okay, nini uto wako kwa wadau wanaohusika na kupambana ukatili kwa watoto? Kwa wadau wangu, kwa wadau mimi na washauri waendelee kujitokeza ili kuendelea kuwafuatilia na kuweza kubaini matukio yanayoenda kuwakabili watoto wadogo kama wale. My name is Laura. Laura, congratulations for organizing the event. Uh, right now I'm um, <laughs> I'm happy but I'm also exhausted. Huh? What did you ask me? How, how was the event? It was a very very nice event, very nice. We appreciate so much. Thank you so much. I'm happy you guys enjoyed it. Um, I've been doing it for four years. This is the fourth edition of uh, Kimbia Bila Shaka Sansi Half. And uh, I keep doing it because I believe sports bring everybody together. We put down our bound, uh, barriers about other people and we can be together about something, have fun together. It's a community event. So we focus on the people and we focus on mainly also on the women because uh, in some ways we are trying in a very uh, slow and steady way to to push the culture into that women can also be running and having fun while they are doing exercise it's not only men are you planning to organize it next year yeah i hope so yeah that's the plan that we're going to continue next year as well M most of the four times you have been organizing in, in, in zanzibar are you planning to take it to tanzania mainly no i don't think so there are so many races in uh, Tanzania mainland and I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if the running culture is uh, the same as in Zanzibar because the uh, mainland is different to Zanzibar. So I think for now I think it's better we just continue doing what we do best in Zanzibar and then maybe but uh, yeah, you never know if we are gonna Okay. There are issues of agenda and uh, violence against the children. What's your understanding of what, what something can you say about that? I think by us bringing sports to the young girls, they get to know their own body and they get to know their own boundaries. And uh, for them to get to know themselves means that they can also in some ways, maybe I hope, better learn to say stop or maybe better learn to pull back when they feel that something is wrong because they know themselves. If they don't, through sports you get to know so much about your body and about how it works. and. Um, for me, uh, sports is just a very, very uh, natural way of getting to know your own limits and get uh, rid of shyness because you start to feel more confident when your body is feeling better. What's your comment to stakeholders like Fulham CC to take part? What's your comment to stakeholders? To stakeholders like Fulham CC in taking part in these issues like uh, the one you organized? I appreciate it because I believe that we all have a different agenda. And for us to come together with different stakeholders that have a different agenda, that means that we cover a broader 
uh, we bring up a wider uh, audience and we bring a wider what do you say like um, what do you say I don't know what word to put on it but it becomes more um, not so much specific on one certain thing we we try to put it into more diversity and and we have always been doing it with integrity here so uh, yeah thank you so much thank you thank you thank you